Okay, so we're back now for A&W here. Just want to do a quick few announcements here before we start. So basically, um, if I did have to remove a video, Clash Royale 32, basically, um, well, I put it back up, but it's without an intro or an outro. I was using the new Clash Royale um, Sudden Death music, as you heard in this video just a, a few seconds ago. And, um, <laughs> yeah, basically, I was, I was talking with, with, with Supercell, and basically... That stuff is um, copyrighted, so I can I can't I can use thirty seconds or less of it. That is a regular law. You can use thirty seconds or less of of copyrighted content. That is legal. So that is what I am um, doing um, here. Basically, <laughs> I'm going. The intro's fine. The outro's not. But basically, as long as it's within gameplay. It's okay. So basically, what I'm going to have D, um, DFB do is, in my outro for Clash Royale videos or videos that I want to use the um, the music, in the uh, corner of the screen where it is typically my um, picture and my regular outro, you will then see a Clash Royale sudden death battle. So again, it's part of gameplay because there's gameplay right there. So yes. Yeah, so that's ba it basically, it's a way to get around it, and it's because I want to use that music pretty badly, so the intro's okay, outro, as long as I have that battle in there, I'm okay, so that's what's going down now. For All Stars, um, it'll be uploaded on my backup channel first, then I'm going to download the video, and then get it over here. Okay, let's go. Okay. First up is Two Blazes. The order is reversed. Ben typically goes first. But he's helper now, so he's got that helper tag, which changes the tab order. Why did I open, I literally opened Spotify instead of my timer. Hold on. Come on. Work, please. There we go, clock. Okay. Three, two, one, go. This is Two Blazes' first time seeing the A&W Island. He may have been practicing, but we have not seen him compete yet. Oh, no! Two Blazes is down again. And we need to set this up, as you can see there. There's your All-Star score. Season 51 here. We have two Blazes with a minus one point. A round one fail at the floating steps. Okay. No, not this again. Hold on. Not this glitch again. Oh boy, seriously, this is the most annoying part. Why does that happen? Why does that happen, like, seriously? Every once in a while, that just happens to me. I don't understand where it comes from or what causes it at all. Um, who else do we have here? Benny Bomb. Okay. Okay, come on. Luckily, that was quick. Okay. Game Boy Jude is next. Here goes Game Boy Jude, who ended up in the rankings for one of the top 12 A&W people overall. I believe, yeah, he is top 10. We've got four of the top 10 rated people here, and Jack, Game Boy, Dig, and Ben. Dig, oh no! Down he goes on the cliffhanger. So Game Boy Jude takes a stumble... And we just list this. I almost forgot how to do this because it's been a while since I've done this. Okay. Jack Britton is next.
Okay, so Ben is next then. He can TB now, come on. Just TB to me. Fine. And there's that helper tag. As you can see, one of two helpers hired during the uh, two-day period that we allowed non-donators to apply. Him and Mystic Crew joined the team. Ben is the second best A&W competitor ever, and he's on a six-season winning streak. Oh, no! Wow! Ben goes out on the cliffhanger flip. Wow! So Ben is on a six-season win streak and goes down early. Okay, Jack, hurry up and relog. Let's have Dig go. Okay, Dig left on purpose to let Jack do that, so we're actually going to remove dig from his run there in round one He left for Jack. Oh, no. Um, I could go check console. He didn't. He was fine. I watched. So dig the last jump on the dancing stones is where he went. Here goes Dig now. Not moving quicker, though. So the dancing stones need to be completed. Dig does it. And that's it. Dig has already won round one. And now continues here. He's through, he's through, through the double wedge. Dig, the number one A&W competitor ever, already has won this round. Now for the, he already made the harder transition on the jumping spider. And he's through now, now on to the single wedge. There's absolutely no point in decontinuing right now. But he is still going here. You can see that new VIP plus tag that I set up. Dig is still going right now. This is amazing. He looks like, despite not competing for a little while, that he's going to do it.
He's got it. On to stage two. Goes dig. Stage one finish. Was that leaderboard? Let's take a peek. Probably not, but he does move on to stage two anyway and looking for stage three. Oh, it is leaderboard. So here goes Dig now on the stage two. Here goes Dig. Dig continuing. Through the final climb. Dig is through snake climb and he's gonna move on to the box fences, which are deadly. We actually saw Morphemies, of all people, complete the more advanced version on A&W 4 during All-Stars. But Dig is doing well now on, on to the barrel fall. He's beaten this only a few times. Now for the Salmon Ladder. After this is an obstacle he has yet to be, and it is the, the modified Ladder Jungle. Much more difficult version. Though it's actually the same jumps, it's just multiple levels. Dig seems to actually understand the obstacle this time, unlike previous times. He actually looks like he's going to do it. He's got it! He's claiming lag right here. Not good. Hmm. The doors don't seem to be working for Dig right now. He's taken 30 seconds now to stare at these first doors. I'm recording. Hmm? That'll be like in an hour. Hmm. Well, we're going to have to take a pause then, unfortunately, here after this run. No, there is nothing there. After one minute, minute of trying, Dig can't do it. And we need to break, unfortunately. Not very good.
Okay, finally back. That was unfortunate, but... I love how Dig is just like, I'm going to change my Wi-Fi service, and he's just a kid. <laughs> like, he owns the Wi-Fi. Two Blazes has finally done it. He's through the floating steps for the first time in a while, and he's actually looking pretty confident on the cliffhanger. Gotta make ever No! He looked confident. And the cliffhanger flip takes out two blazes. Game Boy Jude is next. Here he goes. Game Boy Jude through. And he's through. Game Boy Jude is through the cliffhanger. Oh no! Down on the dancing stones for Game Boy Jude. Jack Britton is next. Jack is the only person ranked in the top 10 of A and W participants to have never won a season. Uh-oh, what's Jack and is going to say to Leafy Britain? Wow. Jack taking a lot of time here, but he's finally made it on the cliffhanger. He's got it. He's made it. Now for this flip. Gotta make every... Oh, no! You need to make every transition. Is Micah running? Micah 13 Loco can and now on to the course. He's got two runs. This is for round one here. Micah continuing now on the cliffhanger and looking good. Oh no! One more run. 
Then wait until round three here. So Micah 13 Loco has a stage one fail at the cliffhanger flip, as does Jack. However, Game Boy is in the lead right now, being that he went to the Dancing Stones. Here he goes again now, on to the floating steps. Oh no! Down on the floating steps. So stage one fail at the floating steps at minus one. Okay, here goes Ben now. Ben took a terrible fall last time that he was on here. Falling on the... Oh! Just go back. And wait 10 seconds. I will let you know. That's one of the fly penalties. Got to wait 10 seconds here. Now I'm lagging. Wow. What's going on with Minecraft today? Okay, here he goes now. He got over there. Once in round three. Yep, yeah, same person. Oh, no! And Ben, who has won six consecutive seasons, is continuing the struggle here with a stage one fail on the double wedge, and he can end up losing points. Okay, here we go. With the 10 second delay, it's huge. Dig already won round one, and he is looking to end Ben's streak right where it started with his head in A&W Hall. Dig, no issues. He's already here quicker, so as long as he makes this flip, he shouldn't have an issue. Yep. Dig wins round two just like that. Ben having extreme struggles. He's going to lose a lot of points this season. And 
And we're going to need to make that rule next season where you have to make every transition on the jumping spider. Dig, no issues, and this should do it. I mean, he's going to move on to stage two again. He's got it. And leaderboard. Third again. He's not getting ahead a second. Oh! Dig is out on snake climb. Round three now. So for Dig, we have a stage two fail, I meant. Door jumps. Stage one finish. Stage two fail at Snake Climb. Two blazes next. And there he is already. Two blazes continues to come out. Despite some poor performances in his previous times, he continues to come out here and could prove to be pretty good in the future if he continues to come. Two blazes now. He's got the flip, and he's got it. He's on to the Dancing Stones. He's taking a little bit of a different route than the traditional version. Oh, boy, that's a tough jump. He's got it, though. He's done it. He just took the harder route. Oh, no. Down on the double wedge for two blazes. Game Boy Jude is next here. Ben needs to sneak in the champions round here to give himself a shot to continue his, his streak. This is looking very risky right now for Ben. It's amazing how people just can't really seem to break that mark of five. Ben barely broke it with six, but now all of a sudden is struggling, just breaks the record by one. It is so difficult to keep consistency up on A&W with good people emerging left and right. And good people returning, as in Diggs' return this season to relevance. Game Boy Jude makes the flip now, and he's got the other transition now for the Dancing Stones, which he fell on last time. He's got it. Game Boy Jude is on to the double wedge. He's made the double wedge. He's very low on it, but he's through.
Here goes Game Boy now. He's actually doing pretty well on the Jumping Spider. He's got the cliffhanger transition. He's moving on to the wedge. Is Game Boy Jude going to sneak into this champion's round now? He's going to add some pressure here. With this performance, who saw this coming? Okay, so Game Boy Jude finished. Now for Jocelyn 2000. Who basically has the spot of Micah right here. Jocelyn has the flip now. Jocelyn is actually moving on right now. No! Down on the dancing stones. So Ben is next. Ben must finish stage one if he wants a chance to keep his streak alive. He needs to do it right here. Ben needs to do this right here, right now, or this is done, and his streak is done. So much pressure on this run right now. Ben on to the double wedge. Fell here earlier. No! And that is it. The sixth season streak comes to an end. And the Ben made the fall behind Kirby, honestly.
These are all like common IPs. Like what the heck? <laughs> oh! Dig goes down! So champions is Dig versus Dig versus Game Boy. For now, Game Boy Jude on stage two. Down he goes, Game Boy Jude on stage two. Okay, this is continuing, so this has to be removed. Why is he not in the chat now? Okay, good, he left. <laughs> um, Game Boy Jude, stage two fail. At the barrel fall. Dig is first. Here goes digging champions around here. Game Boy Jude struggled all day and had one good run. So the fact that Dig is doing well here does not look good for Game Boy. He need a big one here. If not, then then the oh look who showed up. <laughs> In fact, one minute exactly. Let me fix your rank. Wow. Oh, come on. We can't actually nick nickname him Master Chief. Okay. Um. Okay.
Okay, try now. And then I gotta insert these statistics. Alrighty. Um, dig champions round appearance two champions round stage one fail at the hang jump. Then we have Game Boy Jude champions round appearance. And the clock is a little bit off. Come on. He may have already done enough, though, of the way he was struggling. Come on, Dig. Dig is back. The past 11 seasons have been won by either Dig or Ben. Will that streak continue is the question. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. What's that hack called? Okay, yep, that that that's fly. Sixteen. <laughs> oh boy, Rip Jack. So we have Dig. Oh boy, I just realized something. Leaderboard, number one time right there for Dig. Okay, so we have the 156.71 for Dig. We got a second for Benny Bomb. 152.15. And then we've got a first now for XI Diggy underscore at 151.58. Game Boy Jude is next. Here he goes now. Game Boy Jude needs to finish stage one. Needs to finish or dig wins now for Game Boy. Game Boy Jude finished in 2 minutes and 44 seconds last time. Nearly a whole minute behind the, the time that Dig just put up. But time doesn't matter now. He just needs to finish. Here he goes now. The Dancing Stones took him out in his first run. Game Boy Jude. He's through. On to the double wedge. We are watching him super closely right now. How will he make this transition? He's got it. 
through the double wedge. Game Boy Jude, he performs when he needs to, and he's showing up right now, moving on the Sonic Curve. You don't want to mess up on an easy obstacle like Sonic Curve, though. Take it slow, just like he's doing right now. He's had some disappointing seasons and some great ones. Here he goes now. Game Boy Jude. He doesn't know about this, this trick, though. He's going to have to make a cliffhanger transition. He's got it. After this season, this, that will be fixed. In fact, we're going to change that right after his run. Game Boy Jude is showing up for the moment. Not going to be leaderboard. He just passed third. But I don't think it matters. They oh, no! He goes down. So Dig wins season 51. On to stage two. Here goes Dig. Here he goes now. Stage 2. Only Ben has managed to complete this Stage 2. And now Dig has one shot here in Champions Round. He's already won. Number one ranked A and W competitor right here in XI Diggy underscore. On to the barrel fall. Oh, Dig catches himself at the lowest level. He can still do it. Technically, this ladder jungle is actually easier than the old one because it's got multiple levels. It's just interesting. It's a maze. And here goes Dig now. Here's where he fell earlier. This is the farthest anyone's gone this season. Dig's through. Through the second. And Dig is going to be the second. Second person to ever reach stage three on the a and w island only other person is ben he got to the unbeaten obstacle the flying bar Oh boy, he's actually ahead of Ben. Seriously, stop lagging. Come on, please. And I think I need to fix the skulls over here, too, yep. Yeah? Okay, stage three now. Here goes Dig. Stage 3, Slime Road actually starts it. Oh, wow! Wow! 
So a shockingly good season comes to an end seven seconds into the same op into the first obstacle of stage three. Well, let's let them all come on in here now. And we'll calculate the points later. As Ben's six season streak finally ends here at season 51 with Dig once again. These two are just ruling the A&W universe right now. As you can see, Seasons 40 through 51 have all been won by either Dig or Ben. See, yeah, the past, the past 12 seasons have been won by either Dig or Ben, which is absolutely fascinating to see that much success out of all of them. Well, that'll do it. The point system is official. We'll calculate it, but Dig should have enough there. And that'll do it.